Hello, my name is Cheryl Belkin Epstein, and I teach the history of ballet here at Canada's National Ballet School. We're training for a professional career in ballet begins at age 11, with daily ballet classes held separately for girls and boys. In these classes, all the students will be introduced to the fundamentals of ballet. But for the girls, there is an additional challenge. Early in their first year, they will be fitted for point shoes and begin the long road to mastering point work, the defining characteristic of the ballerina. Eventually, the young female dancer must become as competent and as confident in her point shoes as she is in her soft Boys slip classes. Special attention is paid to developing good form in turns and jumps so that they can begin to develop the power that they will need for the multiple turns and explosive jumps that are associated with the mature. They will also need to develop the upper body strength that will enable them to support and lift the girls once partnering begins. The introduction to partnering takes place in character dance classes where the young dancers learn about spatial awareness and how to relate to a partner. Later, they will move on to supported adagio classes where the girls will continue to refine their balance on point, the boys will learn how to be sensitive and responsive to the girls' needs in that regard, and they will begin assisted jumps as a first step in learning how to work together for the larger lift. studio he was a joy to work with and I've never seen someone so excited about not only his artwork but the dancers that he's working with. And because we like him so much we want to work even harder to uh, impress him. I feel with Demis it's definitely never a one-sided creative process. It's always everybody has their own say and part within the piece. He was especially focusing on details of music but very differently from other choreographers. For example, he wouldn't make us count the music, he would make us really listen to music and her voice. And Out of this creative process that I learned was just to uh, push my limits, push my boundaries, and overcome what I thought would be impossible. To never say no, um, you can actually surprise yourself what you can actually end up doing. And I really feel that it helped me to expand not only my way of thinking about creating, but also about my way of thinking as a dancer and having more confidence in how I participate in movements and how I approach movements. Basis to sort of work from there to say, I like what you did here, but add in this. And Perfectionism. Sort of... He always pushed me to think positively and what I can do and what how much I can push. Uh, a lot of laughter, a lot of um, good feelings that I think we can translate. To uh, explore and um, experiment with his ideas and his choreography. If, uh, after working with him, even out of the rehearsals, I feel I'm dancing limitlessly. I found I grew as a person through this piece and also took it into the daily classes and other genres of... Just go for it without any thinking. And I said, so you want me to be ugly? Beauty. It's about emotions and what people realize from this piece. Finally, the senior students will move on to full pas de deux classes where they will continue to develop their partnering skills. At Canada's National Ballet School, the ultimate goal of training, however, is to create expressive dancers capable of moving an audience. And so throughout their years of training, special attention is paid in every class to nurturing their musical and artistic sensibilities.